go. Boom! <laughs> Time is money. So I'm gonna show you how to process this aerospace fitting and a bunch of amazing tooling so you can essentially print money on your Swiss machine. For the purpose of this video, and because I like you guys so much, I made a version of this out of brass. And we did all this on our Tornos GT32, which is a lovely machine. So I processed this part big end out. And I did that because I have a 16 millimeter drill in my operation, and I didn't really want to go through the hassle of figuring out how to fit that into the subside, so I put it on the main side. So the first thing I did is face off with a Kenna Metal CCMT style insert. Facing off is pretty much always your first operation on a Swiss machine. It establishes zero, and then you can work back from there. Next are my ID tools. If I did my OD tools first, I wouldn't have any material to support my ID tools, so these have to happen after I face off. So next are my OD operations, where I turn, groove behind the thread, single point the thread, mill a hex, and then rough out the back section for the sub spindle. So the counter spindle and the main spindle run simultaneously. So while those operations are happening on the main, on the counter spindle, I face off and turn the OD. After that, I come in and I drill with an eight millimeter drill. Then I come in and I bore the ID up to nine millimeters. After that, I come in and I do my single point thread. I then deburr the thread, mill a small hex on the front, and then finally, it ejects the part into the tray. And then the part comes out the conveyor, lands in a nice little pile of parts, and then boom, baby, you're making money. That's what you're here for. You're not here to mess around, you're here to make money. You see that, you see that part after part falling into the tray? Quit messing around, beat your competition. So you'll see, with our OD tools on the main spindle side, we went with Kenna Metal's KM Micro Series. Now, I personally love this tooling series because it makes it so easy to get in and out of the machine without having to touch a bunch of stuff. If you just take a torque wrench and pop the screw loose on the side of the holder, you could take the head out and change the actual insert in your hand. And that makes it a lot quicker and easier. So for our ID drills, you'll notice I use hydraulic holders from Gen Swiss. So with these hydraulic holders, it's nice because they allow me to have it choked up. I can have my hydraulic piston either on the front or the back of the holder, depending on which way I want it for clearance, and it can be plumbed with through coolant. Are you ready? For my ID boring tools, I use PH Horn's R105 series. These tools are great for if you have to bore, groove, or thread anything internally on small diameters. So for my end mill, I use Kenna Metal's 12 millimeter diameter duo lock four flute end mill. For rough and finished turning on the main spindle, I use the Kenna Metal CCMT insert. It has a 15 thousandths nose radius, and it's Kenna Metal grade KCU25. For threading on the main spindle, I use Kenna Metal's lay down threading insert, Kenna Metal grade KC5025. For boring on the main and sub, I use PH Horn's R105 series carbide boring bar. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope you, nah, I, all right. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. We went over some of the processing and some of the quick change tooling in our Tornos GT32. Hit like and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell if you haven't hit it already. And stay tuned for more, because guess what? This isn't over. We're just beginning, all right? We're gonna start bringing you the programming. We're gonna start bringing you the process development on these machines. We're gonna bring you an academy. We are gonna bring you so much, you're going to lose your mind. So stay tuned for more, because this isn't over yet. We're just getting started, baby. Boom! <laughs>